This is a river otter. River otters are known above all for their playfulness. This river otter has no time for play right now. There's food available, and that's no game. River otters were once found across North America, but humans have not been their friends, although otters don't seem to mind people being in their space. So now most of the eastern and midwestern rivers are without this fun-loving mammal. They still live in the American West and are numerous in the Pacific Northwest, including Oregon. This river otter has a name, Nestle. It lives at Wildlife Images, a wildlife rehabilitation and education center in Josephine County, Oregon. This may sound strange, but Nestle is a retired movie actor enjoying his retirement here. Providing the right food for Nestle is vital to his well-being. That task is shared with children here during a summer camp. This is the day of greatest excitement for these summer campers. This is the day when they prepare the food for three kinds of animals at Wildlife Images, including Nestle, the river otter. The camp teacher and several volunteers lead the kids to their favorite activity. They approach a tent that today is designated the Critter Kitchen. And what do you guys make the diets for? Uh, yeah. So Nestle, our river otter, so you guys are going to be making diets with what? Fish. So you're going to be the smelly table. <laughs> the teacher explains to campers that the food will be carefully placed using objects collectively known as enrichment, ways to make the otter seek out and use its wits to free its food for eating. Now they get down to the business of preparing the food. Okay, so we have to do the okay, so that's 83. Yeah. What if we cut this in half? We're going to wait until they yeah, yeah, sure. And then our right, so so nice. you so you so yeah. And remember, there's like yeah. 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 Um, so she doesn't need all of these things. She just needs 350 grams of meat. And so we have two different types of meat. Yeah, no, don't just leave the skin on. We will. It's fine. Um, so don't peel it off. Are we doing enrichment now too? Are we gonna put some? Campers from all three groups leave the tent. They stop first to feed kawadis, then they head to the otter habitat. Some of the prepared food is thrown into the enclosure by the campers. Nestle frantically seeks out and eats the food. Matter 
over there. Oh, she knows something. Yeah. She finds food in an enrichment. She might just stick her paws in there and try and grab it too. No, she knows. She's huh? putting it to that the big hole. Yeah. Comes out of the yeah. Oh, she got some more. She's trying to get it in there. Wow. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, we want to see her get the stuff out of the enrichment. See how her brain works. She's a Huh? No one brings food to these river otters. This den is located in the San Juan Islands, surrounded by the Salish Sea. While not a river, this body of water provides a rich habitat where food is abundant. And although it's a sea, these are not sea otters, they're river otters, a different species. This rocky den comprises a mother and her pups. Now, a river otter litter consists of usually from two to five pups. This one appears even larger. Let's watch the almost grown pups in this den. River otters often make their den in abandoned homes of other animals, especially beavers. This rocky den provides ample protection. I think one of them's peeing. One went in, a bunch of them are going in. A river otter's body is designed for swimming. Its streamlined head, shorter forepaws, and its long tapered muscular tail make the otter a strong, swift swimmer. I like to come out of the hole. That one's Look not so it. sure. Their longer hind legs and webbed feet make for less than graceful land movement, but serve them well in the water. Watch what happens when this otter spots the splashing of a fish. A river otter's teeth are sharply pointed to grab and hold on to fish, and apparently to take it away from another otter. Back in the water for one, while the other munches down on the fish it got from its brother. Still enjoying its morning snack, the otter goes back where it's most at ease, in the water. Hopefully more scenes like this will play out in our natural environment.